costing about $20 billion and measuring 55 kilometers, 34 miles, long including connecting roads, the new Hong Kong Zhu Haimakau Bridge, HZMB, is the world's longest sea crossing bridge. After nine years of construction, the Chinese Ocean Bridge is open and connects the Chinese mainland to Hong Kong and Macau. Before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below to be the first to get a notification on our next video. It's the world's longest sea crossing bridge features a section linking the bridge to Hong Kong port. This link itself is impressive and consists of land and marine viaducts, a tunnel, and a short road section. The four-mile underwater tunnel connects two artificial islands, which help support the structure. The tunnel was built below the water to prevent the disruption of shipping lanes. However, the actual main part of the bridge that crosses the water measures just 29.6 kilometers, 34 miles, long 3.7 kilometers, 2.2 miles, short of the English Channel, at its narrowest point. Structurally, it comprises three cable-state bridges, as well as two artificial islands and a 6 kilometers, 3.7 miles, tunnel section that plunges beneath the water to ensure shipping traffic can still pass. A driver with a special permit will be able to leave Hong Kong and arrive in Zhuhai in 30 minutes. Previously, this journey would have taken up to four hours. The project required 420,000 tons, 470,400 US tons, of steel, which is roughly equivalent to 60 Eiffel Towers. The largest lifting barge in the world installed the final connection for the tunnel section, and 1.08 million cubic meters, roughly 3.8 billion cubic ft, of concrete was used. The bridge system is rated to withstand up to a magnitude 8 earthquake and take high winds and typhoons in its stride. It's also expected to remain operational for 120 years. Two months after China unveiled the world's longest sea bridge at a ceremony in Hong Kong, the nation has already struggled to accommodate an influx of tourists. The Greater Bay Area is one of the busiest shipping areas in the world, with about 4,000 vessels passing through each day. The Hong Kong Zhu Haimakau Bridge is part of a master plan to create a global science and technology hub by connecting two Chinese territories, Hong Kong and Macau, the world's largest gambling center, to nine nearby cities. With an economic output of $1.5 trillion, the new mega-region, known as the Greater Bay Area, is positioned to rival Silicon Valley. The plan also includes the construction of an $11 billion bullet train, which opened in September. The bridge is not open to public transit, so only certain vehicles like shuttles, freight cars, and private cars with permits, are allowed to cross. Pedestrians and bicyclists are prohibited. While some have criticized the structure as a waste of taxpayer dollars, others tout its ability to connect up to 70 million people in the region. Meanwhile, the Hong Kong Zhu Haimakau Bridge is designed to last for more than a century, with the capacity to withstand major storms and earthquakes, and even 211 miles per hour winds. That claim was put to the test in September, when Typhoon Mankhut swept through Hong Kong, destroying roofs, shattering windows, and toppling trees. Chinese Ocean Bridge is made of 420,000 tons of steel, enough to build 60 Eiffel Towers. The bridge's towers were inspired by three elements, Chinese knots, the Chinese white dolphin, and the mast of a boat. And, its curves are designed to resemble a snake. Construction kicked off in 2009 and was set to finish in 2016, but was delayed because of the budget and safety concerns. Throughout construction, nine workers had died and more than 200 had been injured. Also, 19 workers were charged with faking concrete test reports. Nevertheless, the Chinese Ocean Bridge was completed, considering both persons in Hong Kong and Macau, and in mainland China. People in Hong Kong and Macau drive on the left side of the road, while those in mainland China drive on the right. However, to cross the bridge, pedestrians and drivers without a permit must purchase a shuttle ticket, costing $8 to $10. The bridge includes a designated merge point, where cars can switch to the appropriate side of the road. 
Mainland passengers traveling from the southern city of Zhuhai to Hong Kong have to pre-order their tickets or face deeper prices at the terminal. And each person is no longer allowed to purchase more than 10 tickets. By December, the number of daily passengers at peak hours at Hong Kong's port had fallen to between 60,000 and 70,000. As expected, keeping everything running safely is a major undertaking in itself. The Guardian reports that drivers will have their heart rate and blood pressure checked, and that CCTV yawn cameras will monitor drivers for yawning. While undeniably impressive, the construction of this bridge faced some major criticisms. Some have questioned the bridge's stability after photos appeared to show its wave-absorbing concrete blocks drifting off into the water. Also, environmentalists fear that construction has threatened the livelihood of the Chinese white dolphin. And, the area where the Pearl River meets the South China Sea which was once a sanctuary for the species, has significantly shown a decline in its state since construction began. What do you think of the Chinese Ocean Bridge? Do you think it is worth the expenditure? Will they make enough revenue to recover from the cost of the construction? Please share your opinions in the comments section below and remember to click the subscribe button below to be the first person to watch new videos on this channel.